everyone, welcome to Vlogmas Day 12. Bit of a funny one today. I didn't think I was going to be able to do a Vlogmas for you guys for tonight, so yesterday. I thought it was going to have to be like a triple rollover because I'm out tomorrow as well. But I decided just to get on with the Vlogmas as early as I could, so it did go up because I don't want to keep doing loads of rollovers. It is supposed to be an everyday thing and I think I've already done two rollovers. So anyway, Vlogmas is up. So I was supposed to have a business call, I'm pretty sure I said yesterday at half two but that was 15 minutes ago and they've never rang so i've just been doing reviews on the company that i was supposed to be getting a call from and yeah let's just say i'm not going to be working with them actually i may as well just talk about it a little bit if because loads of people always ask me for advice on youtube and blog and stuff is that even on me so one word of advice i can all like i can rest assured would say is that if you are a blogger or a YouTube, well, a YouTuber, you will start to get a lot of network companies approaching you. I've had them for years. Honestly, don't go with them. <laughs> like, you don't need them. You can do it without them. And I've always said no to them. They're just a scam. They take loads of your money. They never actually do any work for you. Um, this is what I've heard of probably 90% of them. Unless you have millions of followers, like, they're not interested. I think there's a couple of companies out there who are really good, like Gleam. If you ever get offered a, si a sign in by Gleam, then yeah, take it. Basically, I got offered one and I always say no. It was from a company, I won't go into it because it's not fair because I don't know them. But from doing my research and from the fact that they haven't even rang us when they were supposed to. Have they emailed me now? Have I got an email? Nope, I still haven't even had an email. So it's not a great start. Um just so happened that they didn't ring me as I was finding out bad reviews about them. They'll promise you things, take a load of your money and yeah, just honestly like you don't need a network company to handle your YouTube and for you. I think the only reason I was gonna actually have a phone call with them this time was two reasons. One, they have a lot of big YouTubers that I follow signed to them. So I was like, you know, I still need to take this nail varnish off. I was like, okay, you know, they can't be all that bad. They have big names working with them. When you think about it, they, they work for the, like, the big names are worth it to them. So if you're just a little guy, they're just signing you up for the, to take some of your money, really, and just to get you on the books. And then they'll never actually do much work for you. If you look into how all this works, you'll see what I mean. But also, the other reason was, I'm so busy at the minute, I thought it might be nice to help have a bit of help with, like, getting me some work and replying to emails for me. But when I've looked into it, they're not that type of company at all. So, yeah. My word of advice, never go with networking companies. I'm kind of annoyed at myself for having a moment of weakness and thinking that I would need a network company to help me. And it's like, no, I don't. I can do this on my own. <laughs> anyway, I'm just really busy and stressed. But when I've looked into it, it's not worth it. So, it is Wednesday. My little brother is off school today, but he he's going over his granddad. So, I don't need to go and see him today. So I have a load of orders I want to get out, so I'm going to get on with that, the battery's flashing, so I'm going to get on with a load of orders and then I'll catch up with you in a bit. Well, it's been a little while since the last time I spoke to you, so I do apologise, but I was in a mega rush. I'm so glad I made as much stuff as I did last night, because then it was just a case of putting the clothes and labels in, packing them up today, and then I got a few more orders done, packed out. So yeah, I was just running out of lunatic, didn't even have time to stop and press time lapse on the camera. So I apologise. It's supposed to be Vlogmas, Sarah. Um, but yeah, I've just been to the post office. Honestly, that post office, like, I don't want to be mean, but it's like, it took 20 minutes for this woman to do five packages. 20 minutes. If I'd gone in a few minutes before the cutoff, it shouldn't have been a problem to get, well, not a few minutes, but like five, 10 minutes before the cutoff. It shouldn't have been a problem to get five packages out today before the cutoff. And honestly, it took her about 20 25 minutes to do five packages if i'd been any later i would i would have missed the cut off and it's like i got there half an hour before the cut off which i don't think is bad for five packages like, i'm not asking a lot there wasn't a queue but i was if she stood there 20 it's like five minutes a package it took her i just stood around twiddling my thumbs waiting um I mean, she's dead canny, but like she fanny's on, bless her. Um, I mean, there's a couple of different women in there. And then, this really annoys me. I don't even know if I've spoke about it on my channel before, but this really annoys me. It happens every week at that post office. Have you ever thought about drop and go? I have a drop and go account with you, and I have had for about three years. I'm so glad that you guys remember who I am. I come in here pretty much every day. 
some of them do remember me now but some of the most of them still don't they don't know my name when i drop and like, drop stuff off hence why the confusion the other week they didn't know my name so they were putting someone else's name on the packages and that's why it didn't get sent out like it's just ridiculous i've been doing things there with princess rags with my etsy last year and then the year before that with mine and my sister's gym shoes company iron rocks if you didn't know i have a gym shoe company with my sister iron rocks go and check us out <laughs> um we don't promote it very much but i'm hoping to do some princess active wear hopefully and incorporate them in because they're like girly colors anyway that's another another business idea that i just haven't got around to doing also i'm really annoyed about this this is such a positive vlog they've lost my shop disney 2018 massive christmas reusable bag that i use for my packages i've got last year's still and i've got this year's and like i want to collect them <laughs> and they were like five pound which is not the point it's you can't get them anymore in my store i got it in the london store actually i don't think i've ever seen them in my store that size i get the big ones and it's the perfect size for the amount of packages i take in and rather than carrying loads of bags i just take this massive big one and they've lost it they lost it about a week and a half ago and every time I go in and I say have you found it and they're like no so I think they've give it to somebody else which annoys me because it had my name on it I deliberately put a big label right on the side with my name and address on and I think they've given it to someone else which really bugs me like if I ever see someone with it or one that looks like a name's been ripped off I'll be like that's mine so let's go home because I have a headache and I'm starving and I need some food I can't remember I always say this don't I I can't remember the last time I spoke to you but I really can't I think I was coming out of the post office um, but I came home, I made some tea. This lighting's dodgy, but I don't know where else to put you. Um, I had my tea and I made the mistake of, our telly is broken basically and it does not turn on for about half an hour. Like you can be pressing that button. I think the longest it's taken, it took Matthew like over two hours once to get it to turn on. I'm not even joking, like it just won't turn on. It does eventually, but just whenever it feels like it. So I managed to get it to turn on in about 20 minutes of just pressing the button continuously. We can't afford a new telly. <laughs> I made the mistake of sitting down and being like, oh, I'll watch a bit of telly, like with me dinner. Just five minutes rest. Actually, no saying that. I've been upstairs for the past half an hour working. Anyway, I sat down for about half an hour. No, that was it. I'm so confused. I sat down and I watched an episode of Don't Tell the Bride with me dinner. Then for the past half an hour or so, I've been upstairs putting on all the tracking numbers and everything for all the orders I sent out today. I was going to watch Sex and the City, like the TV series. I've seen it a million times, but I was going to watch a couple of episodes. I think I'm going to have the night off. I really shouldn't, but let's unbox this. This is from Queen Q Pie. I've had two boxes from this lovely lady before. I feel like I got one last vlog miss off her. I don't know, but anyway, she sent me this about three days ago and i'm just getting around to spend having some time to open it with yous she does the cutest little like surprise mystery disney boxes and things www.queenqpiex.com and q is spelled k e w and then instagram is queenqpiex thank you so much for your purchase i did not purchase anything but there we go, that's what it looks like. The information there for our Instagram and our website. Oh, I know what this is. She messaged me about this months ago. I know. Well, I know what some of it is. Oh my goodness me. She sent me some Sabrina the Teenage Witch. The original Sabrina the Teenage Witch, not the new Netflix one. Um, mystery trading cards. How nice is that? I kind of don't want to open them because they're like vintage. 1999 i was nine i can't open that oh my god that's absolutely hilarious oh there's a little card there's a card hi sarah i hope you absolutely love everything inside your 90s disney surprise box all the items inside are available on request or it can be to a total surprise enjoy lauren p.s massive massive congrats on your label launch you deserve every success i totally forgot that i had a discount code with that so if anybody wants 10 percent off sarah louise porter proper old school barbie postcard oh that's so sweet and it's a thin one which is the only types of one i can actually wear in my hair so it's a headband aerial it doesn't have a date on it 
but it's definitely vintage 100% that is vintage and she said to me do you want oh, I can't remember what the choices were but in the end I went for Hercules I'm a sucker for Hercules so she sent me an original Hercules McDonald's Happy Meal box I probably had one of these when I was little how absolutely amazing is that so these are available on her website now oh my god this is probably nostalgic can you still get the happy meal boxes i haven't had a happy meal in years oh wow this is going everywhere <gasps> oh my god no way i want to put these in right now oh my god look she sent me like proper vintage Hunchback of Notre Dame clip-on earrings. Yeah, it's just the way the plastic is. I can't get them open. And I don't want to rip the packaging open with it being so old. What's the date on these? I can't see a date on these, but they're definitely from the 90s. Can you see that? It's like Goofy and Donald there. Every time she sends me one of these boxes, she proper spoils me, bless her. Wow. That is like old school where does she get this stuff i think i say this every time like i do not understand what gives me the right to own this proper vintage epic disney stuff and like she gifts it to me as well like it's just, i really do love our stuff i totally forgot about my discount code i feel so bad but look at this proper old school snow white bag it is an old like a proper vintage little mermaid and flounder comb look at that stick on jewelry i remember when you used to get stuff like that when i was little and it was basically stickers, but like you would stick them on like ears and stuff as earrings. She's giving me another postcard. Is that Disneyland Paris? Oh, I'd love to know what year that is. Guys, look at that. That is Disneyland Paris, Main Street. So as if you're kind of in the castle looking out back on Main Street, which is not a view that you can really do on that castle. You have to be, when you're in the castle and you go up the stairs, you can only look out the back. So look at that view. Oh, I can't wait to go next week. I'm so excited. Oh, wow. And then oh, that's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Look at that. I'm going to stick that on my jacket. Sent me a Minnie Mouse bow, but it's like, it's like a slide. That's really, really nice. What is the year on them? Mm -hmm. I bet there's a year on them. Can't see the year on them, but they definitely look old. I'm so sticking that on my sewing machine. Look at them. Sorry about my chip nails. I am going to sort them out. Wow, look at them. They're like movie stills. Thank you so, so much, Lauren. Seriously, I absolutely love your boxes. Like, I really do. I generally do. Like, I think what she does, how she finds all this stuff, I don't know. And I love her Instagram. Like, she is doing amazing things with Vintage Disney and... You can just tell that she's just really organised and yeah. A discount code, Sarah Louise Porter for 10% off. Go and check her out. Get yourself some awesome like vintage stuff that you literally cannot buy anywhere else. And yeah, thanks Lauren. Uh, that's really just perked me up and I really needed that. So yeah, thank you. I'm going to sort myself out for tomorrow. And I'm sure I will get back to you. But just in case I don't because I am just kind of like... I kind of feel like I'll need a bit of a night off slash not really have a night off. It's more just kind of time to kind of beautify myself and stuff and just, you know, just sort myself out a little bit. So I'm sure I will get back to you. But if I don't, we'll be going to Manchester in the morning. It is currently 20, no, 10 to 11. And I could not get my butt off the sofa. I was so tired. And it's like, I know I'm getting in the bath. And I can just lie in the bath. But you know when you're just so tired? Also, I'm going to have this new Twilight bath bomb. It's purple. I, mean, I don't I don't know if I've had this one before, but I really love the scent of this and like the body spray that they do with this one. So I'm going to have this. And then Matthew should be home in like 20 minutes. Still need to get my nail varnish off. And then I guess I'm going to bed. So I'll speak to you tomorrow. Morning. Well, afternoon. Me and Matthew slept in. We're on our way to Manchester. Um, we'll probably get maybe an hour at the Christmas market, maybe. Matthew's shaking his head. And then we've got the regular choice event at the new Manchester store. And it's kind of like a party to open the new store, I think, slash a bit of a Christmas party. Uh, but yeah, that's at six till half nine. 
I think it's more of a drop in. Like, I don't think we have to go six till nine. So if we end up being at the market a bit longer, I don't think it's the end of the world. But we'll see when we get there. We're in the services now. And it's getting dark and me and Matthew are wearing matching clothes and I want us to take a photo. <laughs> I don't know where to do one. It's kind of hard when the photographer needs to be in the photo with me. I've just got to Arndale. I can see a Disney store there. But we're going to find a toilet and then we're going to have to go around to the event because we were sat in traffic for a lot longer, weren't we? It's on the offer. No, is this the Christmas market? What? Uh, is that the Christmas market? It must be. I wonder what time it's going to Oh my god, it's so cool. Alright. Hey Matthew, we've just come into Acosta because we spent 20 minutes looking for that store and I'm wearing heels and it's cold so I'm a bit dishevelled. So we're coming to Costa, we're going to sit down and then we're going to head round but we walked past it, like we found it and there was nobody in there so we don't want to be the first ones to arrive, so we're just going to sit down for 20 minutes and then go in. I definitely don't want to be the first to arrive, because I'm the only guy. You don't know, you, there might be other guys there. It's cold. Green man, green man, oh green man. God, I'm in heels. Green man. No, how long is the green man? No, I mean you, green. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't. You idiot. You're a green lady. I'm a green lady. Store shut 20 minutes ago, so hopefully yeah, yeah. there's a few more people there now. In we go. What's this is but it's shut so we're gonna go ask the car i'm gonna get changed and then i don't know if the arndale's open any later and if it is we'll go shopping otherwise it looks like we're driving home I the music in there yeah matthew really enjoyed the music it was all quite like old school kind what of are you funky. trying to say eh? what are you trying to say well you're not a modern guy are you hey my you phone is on four percent i'm wearing I'm skinny jeans skinny. as modern as it comes Brother, look at the size of my shoes where's the arndale i'm freezing it in my, my feet are oh, like they're not hurt oh show them show them my shoes these guys 
Annabelle knew when I was, she was like, how old are they? And I was like, look at the pattern. And the first ever sh like shoes pattern that went on the sole is these. That's how old these are. She was very impressed. These are old school, like 10 plus years ago. A regular choice. Ice cream shoes. Sparkly. See the bottom? <laughs> Three old school. Right, let's go. I need to get changed. Guys, I've just found the Disney store. This shopping centre is weird because it's like supposed to be closed now, but the stores stay open. I don't even know. But anyway, we've just found the Disney store. So, where is the word Disney? There it is. So, we're going to go in. We were going to get food in the, I keep calling it the Arneson, but it's the Arndale. We were going to get food in the Arndale. But everything was shut. Um, it was weird because the guy was like, oh, the shop shut at eight, but the Arndale shuts at quarter past nine. But all the loads of shops were just open, so I guess they just shut when they want, considering how busy they are. Anyway, there was nowhere really open where we could get like food because it was like shutting in 20 minutes so everyone was like oh we're like we're not serving like the kitchen's closed sort of thing so we're driving home and we're both starving and it's like 20 past nine and we found a mcdonald's <laughs> so we're gonna get a mcdonald's score yeah can i get one of those large and one regular one medium and one bag. yeah can i get both of those with no sauce on please uh well just like yeah with no sauce on Can I get pickles on instead, please? Yum, 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 yum. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 14. I can only assume this is not a triple rollover, but I haven't even edited Vlogmas yet. I have a really croaky voice. It is 10 to 1, and me and Matthew have just come out to get Peril, to fill up his tyres with air, to wash his car, and to get breakfast. Yes, at 10 to 1, we slept in again. But yeah, you slept in. I've been up since 10 o'clock. To least. be fair, we didn't get home till like 2 o'clock in the morning. I was still up. Yeah. Anyway, what do you mean? You got you woke up when I woke up. You only got up because someone knocked oh, yeah. on the door. I was lying in bed awake. That doesn't mean you were up. Yesterday was fun, wasn't it? It a regular choice. Yeah, it was good. We were saying, like, yeah, it was a shame we didn't go to Manchester earlier. But the Christmas market, it didn't look brilliant. Plus, it looks like the same Christmas market in every other city. Now I'm pulling here, do you think? Yes, of course you can, why not? Like, we're trying to fill up these tyres, trying to fill up these tyres. It's a bit of a tight squeeze. Anyway, we're going to go for a Spoon's breakfast now. Although it is after 12, so Matthew thinks that... They don't do breakfast this time of day. No, but they do all, all day stuff. That not sun is so stuff. bright. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're going to go and try and get some food and spoons. So me and Matthew were probably in that weather spoons for about two hours, weren't we? Hi. Hi. There wasn't much to record. I said hi, not I. Oh, I thought you said I. <laughs> Yesterday, when we went to a regular choice, on the A1, we went past the gritter and the car got covered in grit. And this is our first, like, young, nice car. So I've insisted that we come through the car wash and get it properly washed and get the grit off because grit's bad for your car. And then I went to the hairdressers because I was saying I want my hair cut. And I'm not even joking, guys. I want my hair cut, like, here. And it's really long at the minute. I want it, my roots done, my last roots sorted because I didn't do them properly. And I want Guy Tang, who's like a famous hairdresser on Instagram, silver. Like I want quite a lot doing and they quoted me 56 quid. I was like, oh, are you kidding me? That's amazing. So I want that doing, but they couldn't book me in before Christmas. So they've took my name and number and hopefully they'll get a cancellation next week and I can get my hair done. Otherwise, I don't think I'm going to get my hair done before Disney, so we're, we're going to have to do it. But I won't be able to get it cut. I don't know. So anyway... Now we're at the car wash. Oh me. Getting the car washed. Do you really want to do that again? Make it pretty and clean. Hopefully they've got all the grit off the front and around the side. Woo. Matthew's made our 
dinner. So we're going to watch the Santa Claus and have dinner. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Me and Matthew have just been sat on the sofa watching... What have we been watching? Oh yeah, we watched the Santa Claus. Then we watched The Apprentice, the interviews. One more episode and we'll find out who the winner is. Who do you think the winner is, Matthew? I don't know. I think maybe the nut milk lady. I think if dairy-free milk wasn't such a big thing, but because it's so big at the minute, she'll win. It's a good thing this is a three-day vlog because we really haven't done very much to do, have we? I did work on the computer for an hour. I got annoyed at Instagram. <laughs> Matthew made the dinner and then we watched a movie in The Apprentice. And I only got annoyed at Instagram because I spoke about it the other day, but the algorithm's changed and it's just really annoying me. But anyway... We're gonna get to bed, aren't we? Mm -hmm. And we've got, we've got lots of orders to do tomorrow. We go away next weekend. We're gonna have the tree up for a week. I didn't realise that. That's that's quite bad, actually. Why don't we just stick a few decorations on that? Matthew wants to put decorations on this. It's perfect. Tinsel and baubles. Minimal effort, nice and small, minimalist. It's not a Christmas tree at all. It could be. If you make it into it, a, a Christmas tree is what you make it. What's wrong with putting the actual Christmas tree up? Well, there's already a tree in the corner of the room there. It's not a tree! It's a tree. Oh. A few baubles, a bit of tinsel, maybe some lights. We'll put the presents around it. <laughs> what presents? We haven't gotten each of any presents this year. How do you know? Because we said we were getting them in Disney. That's good, I haven't got you anything yet. Because they haven't got you anything. <laughs> We've bought one Christmas present and it's for Amy. Amy watches my vlogs. She might not even watch this far though, but if you are watching Amy, you're the first Christmas and only pr Christmas present we've bought this year so far. I'll catch you more guys. I hope you enjoyed this three day vlog miss. And I'll see you in tomorrow's vlog miss. Toodaloo.